there it is. We now have finally released Yap Thread. Let's open it up. When you first open it up, you're not going to have any threads. How do you create your first thread? You just create a Yap. How do you do that? Tap voice. So what I'm showing you right now is my new app, Yap Thread, which has many key features. And I'm just going to start listing them off. The main features, you can just record your voice. It automatically creates a thread. And then you can record your voice again. And it creates another voice note in that thread. It transcribes all of them. And it will ask you follow-up questions. You can quickly turn that into content. However, there is a catch. You can also now add sources. We decided to add that to the app right before we launched. And we did it. And I'm going to show you that right now. So before we use AI to turn that into anything, you can see here that it's transcribing. It does it very quickly. It automatically uses AI to rename it, as you can see here at the top. And then it asks you follow-up questions. And then notice how when I click on the follow-up question, it allows me to record directly and it lists the question at the top. So how do you plan to use the sources feature? The sources feature is the feature that allows me to go on the internet and save inspiration to this app, right? I can go out on the internet. And I spend a lot of time on Twitter, on Discord, where all the people are tinkering, using different AI tools, and that's where I do most of my learning. And so I save all of these different ideas to this app. And this gives me my ammo, uh, what things I want to create content on, what things I want to learn and create content on. And that saves to a central location within the app. And I'll show you that right now. So we can add another one. You can see it's transcribing, and it is finalizing, and it's completed. And so we can see the full transcript of this second note right here very quickly in this thread. And as you can see here, the title updated, and now it loaded up more questions that we can answer. Before we generate one with AI, let's take a look at the Spark. So these are all the interesting things that I've saved to the app. I think a lot of these are from today. I save about 20 things per day, and I make content on maybe like two or three of them, but it really is a nice place where I can actually just search through all of them. So like I can type in Claude, right? And I can type in Yap Thread. And so there we go. We have two things that we've saved. Or you can add a quick note, right, which is just text. And what we can do is we can actually hit select. And let's go ahead and just select both of these. And we can add them. We can add to existing thread. And so we can add to the Yap Thread features thread. And it takes us directly there. So this is our Yap Thread. So not only do we have our Yaps, but we also have our sources. Then we have our compositions, but we don't have any compositions yet because we haven't created one. So in order to do that, you just come up here and we're just gonna press this refine preset and it automatically converts your outline, uh, your voice yap with your sources into this clean format. And this is basically just like our base refine to the point version of whatever you said. But let me show you a different example. I'm just gonna just go to the search bar and I'm gonna type in video and I'm going to click on this one that I recorded earlier today. And this one has a bunch of sources with links from Runway. Because remember, remember, anywhere I'm on the internet or on uh, Twitter, I can press the share button and I can click share with Yap Thread, and I can add whatever context I want about it. I can say, this is a very interesting quote by the founder of Banana Company. And I really think that people need to understand that you need to just go put all your fruits in one basket. And as soon as I press add, it shows up here in your Sparks page immediately. And I can click on the link and it takes me directly back here. And so since I created three yaps right here for a total of about five minutes and included these three sources on Runway, their new feature, I can go up to Sparks and I can use my, let's do the news rundown style newsletter. And what this is gonna do is this is gonna generate a full newsletter that's in super clean format. And boom, there you go. The rise of AI-generated animation on social media. With the release of new AI tools like Runway, so Runway's Act 1 demo has uh, a hyperlink. And we can click on that, and it takes us right to the demo because I've done a good job organizing all of my thoughts and web clipping, as you can see right there. And it will do that for all of the sources. And then I also brought up Genmo uh, AI's Moki 1. If you can see that right here, we can just click on that and it takes us directly to the link. We can also copy this and paste it in any markdown editor like Bearnote. Uh, and Google Docs supports this now, Notion supports it, and it is in perfect formatting. This is what we just created. Um, and this took like five minutes just yapping my thoughts about Runway and saving all of my thoughts. And so I basically just scroll and save all of the things I might want to make content on because I might use them as sources later. And this makes the whole process incredibly easy to create high quality content that you can then build in to your presets within the app. And then the final feature I will show you is the AI rewrite. 
tap this button. Please make this more condensed and bold all of the keywords, uh, maybe like one or two words in each paragraph that I might want to emphasize. And we can just apply these edits and we can wait for the AI to finish. And there you go. It made those edits. It made it a little bit shorter and added bold words in each paragraph. And the hyperlinks are still there and fully usable, just like a normal newsletter. Anyway, that is Yap Thread.